Instrumental conditioning, also known as operant conditioning, is a type of learning where behaviour is shaped by its consequences. In this process, actions are either reinforced to encourage repetition or punished to discourage them. Positive reinforcement involves providing a reward for desired behaviour, while negative reinforcement removes something unpleasant to increase the likelihood of the behaviour happening again. Punishment, on the other hand, either adds an unpleasant consequence or removes a positive one to reduce undesired behaviour. Instrumental conditioning plays a crucial role in teaching new skills, shaping habits, and influencing choices in both humans and animals. Instrumental conditioning was developed by B.F. Skinner, a psychologist who conducted experiments to study how behaviour could be modified by consequences. Skinner built on earlier work by Edward Thorndike, who discovered the law of effect, which states that actions followed by satisfying outcomes are more likely to be repeated. Skinner's experiments with animals, such as rats in a Skinner box, demonstrated how rewards like food could be used to teach specific behaviours. For example, rats learned to press a lever to receive food, showing how reinforcement could influence behaviour. Skinner's research laid the foundation for understanding how rewards and punishments shape actions. An example of instrumental conditioning can be seen in parenting. A parent might use positive reinforcement by praising a child for doing their homework on time, encouraging the child to repeat the behaviour. Similarly, if a child misbehaves, a parent might use punishment, such as taking away screen time, to discourage the unwanted behaviour. Over time, the child learns which actions lead to positive outcomes and which do not. Another example occurs in training pets. A dog owner might use treats as positive reinforcement to teach a dog to sit or stay. When the dog performs the desired action, it receives a reward, making it more likely to repeat the behaviour. Conversely, if the dog jumps on furniture, the owner might use a firm no or withhold attention as a form of punishment to reduce the behaviour. One strength of instrumental conditioning is its effectiveness in teaching new skills and behaviours. By providing immediate consequences, whether rewards or punishments, it creates a clear connection between actions and outcomes. This makes it easier for individuals or animals to learn what is expected of them. For example, positive reinforcement is widely used in classrooms to encourage participation and good behaviour among students. Another strength is its ability to produce long-lasting changes in behaviour. When used consistently, reinforcement and punishment can help establish habits that persist over time. For instance, rewarding employees for meeting goals can create a workplace culture of productivity and motivation. This practical application makes instrumental conditioning a valuable tool in education, parenting and management. A weakness of instrumental conditioning is that it can sometimes create dependence on rewards. If a behaviour is consistently reinforced with external rewards, individuals may lose motivation to perform the action when the rewards are removed. For example, a student who studies only to earn praise or prizes might stop putting in effort once those rewards are no longer offered. Another weakness is the potential for misuse or overuse of punishment. Excessive punishment can lead to fear, resentment, or a decrease in trust, particularly in relationships like those between parents and children. For instance, a child who is punished harshly for making mistakes might become anxious or less willing to try new things. Balancing reinforcement and punishment is essential to avoid negative emotional effects. An alternative to instrumental conditioning is intrinsic motivation, which focuses on encouraging behaviours driven by internal satisfaction rather than external consequences. Instead of using rewards or punishments, this approach emphasises helping individuals find personal meaning or enjoyment in their actions. For example, a teacher might foster a love of learning by making lessons engaging and relatable, rather than relying on grades or rewards to motivate students. Intrinsic motivation encourages people to take ownership of their actions and develop self-discipline, making it a valuable complement to the techniques of instrumental conditioning.